As the White House claims he is receiving more training, Biden's dog commander has been involved in biting episodes. According to U.S. Secret Service email exchanges, President Joe Biden's younger dog, Commander, has been involved in many biting incidents at the White House and in Delaware, raising concerns about the safety of people near the German Shepherd. According to the White House, the Bidens were implementing fresh training for the family pet in the wake of the incidents. Major, another dog owned by Biden, was responsible for several bite occurrences at the White House. Later, the German Shepherd left the White House. The emails reveal Commander was involved in ten events, one of which required an officer to visit a nearby hospital, according to information obtained by Judicial Watch through Freedom of Information Act requests. In 2021, a 22-month-old baby named Commander arrived at the White House. In one of the episodes detailed in the Secret Service communications, an officer's arm and thighs were restrained by Commander in November 2022, leading to a referral to a nearby hospital. Other incidents occurred when Commander was walking the grounds unleashed, according to the emails. In one incident in October, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden couldn't regain control of the dog as it charged a member of Secret Service staff. I believe it's only a matter of time before an agent slash officer is attacked or bit, the staff member wrote in an email. The White House complex is a unique and often stressful environment for family pets, and the first family is working through ways to make this situation better for everyone, said Elizabeth Alexander, communications director for the First Lady. They have been partnering with the Secret Service and executive residence staff on additional leashing protocols and training, as well as establishing designated areas for commander to run and exercise, she went on. According to the Secret Service, each incident referenced was treated similarly to comparable workplace injuries, with relevant notifications and reporting procedures followed. The President and First Lady are incredibly grateful to the Secret Service and Executive Residence staff for all they do to keep them, their family, and the country safe. The U.S. Secret Service is aware of incidents with the First Family's pets, Anthony Guglielmi, USSS Chief of Communications, said in a statement. For the past several presidential administrations, the Secret Services has navigated how to best operate around family pets and these incidents are no exception. We take the safety and well-being of our employees extremely seriously, Guglielmi said, adding that employees are encouraged to report any job-related injuries. As such, we are aware of past incidents involving first family pets and these instances were treated similarly to comparable workplace injuries to include with relevant notifications and reporting procedures followed, he said. Secret Service special agents and officers, Guglielmi said, neither care for nor handle the first family's pets, but continuously work with all applicable entities to minimize adverse impacts in an environment that includes pets.